Hi, welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna to be doing some minimal makeup. I feel like there were at least a couple of you recently that said you'd like to see more of these. Let me know if you guys would like to see in the future no makeup makeup, where it's like the most bare minimum of product and you're trying to make it look like you don't have makeup on because I do have a routine I do for that when I'm like rushing and I have like five minutes to get out the door. But this video would be like super short and I would have like three, four products to share with you. So I'm gonna do my routine that I do when I have a little bit more time. I already moisturized with the Marion May Blackberry Cream. This is a Korean skincare brand and I really like a super moisturized base for my makeup. That's like my main thing. I don't really use too much primer these days, but one thing I have absolutely been obsessed with lately for my base routine, and it's actually because I did my friend's makeup recently, and she was talking about how she doesn't use foundation. She uses the e.l.f. Halo Glow as her makeup base and it's really glowy and pretty, and I used that on her and it looked so gorgeous. I don't have that. Um, the only product like that that I have is the Auric Glowless. I've talked about this before. Auric is Samantha Ravindahl's brand. If you don't know who she is, she's a YouTuber. She talked for years about how much she loved the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. And she created this product that's sort of along that vein, similar. And then obviously the e.l.f. Halo Glow is supposed to dupe the Charlotte Tilbury one. So this is basically like the same type of product. I really love mixing it with my other base products. It's slightly, slightly light for my skin on its own. So I do mix it with a couple drops of this tint from Typology because this is slightly deep for me. It's in the medium shade. I think this is a beautiful skin tint and I love this little combo. This is a really rambly chatty video. I don't know what's up with that. I feel like lately I've been doing better at not talking so much, but I've been filming more shorts, so maybe I need to like get all my talking out in these videos. If you guys don't know, I made a channel just for shorts. I feel like the algorithm on this channel doesn't push short form content as much because I've been making long form content for years. So if you want to see short form content from me, that channel is linked down below. I'm going to do one pump of this on the back of my hand, and I'm just going to mix like the slightest bit of this serum tint, like two drops. I'm just kind of smearing this everywhere. Hopefully you can tell, you can really see my skin through that. Like it doesn't have super great coverage. It just makes everything look more even and really like dewy and glowy. But I'm gonna spot conceal with my NARS concealer. I feel like I've talked about this a million times at this point. It's just my favorite fuller coverage concealer that never looks heavy on my skin and especially on top of this base, it sits so beautifully and just looks so natural. I just tap that in and take the excess on my lid. I just feel like I get the best application with this concealer with my finger. It just melts everything in really nicely. And then I will set my under eyes right away because it will start creasing right away. And I do still love my Kosas powder. I use that one a lot, especially when I'm in a hurry. But lately I have kind of fallen back in love with the RCMA No Color Powder. I know this is like old school YouTube. It's been around forever, but oddly enough, I've been seeing people baking again, which I feel like I haven't done in forever. I never even really did it that much back when it was popular. I'm just gonna put some of this in the lid like that. But I do really love this powder. I don't excessively bake. I just kind of do a little bit with my brush. And I do like tap it in a little bit so it for sure gets into the creases. Like I don't just leave the powder sitting on top of my skin. If I don't tap it in, it will definitely start creasing. I didn't like blend it all out. I will go over it then in a minute, but I'm just gonna take the excess and go on my eyelids. And then I'm gonna go with bronzer. I'm still loving the Makeup Revolution one. I did hit pan on this finally. I mean, I do use it all the time. It is really pigmented. So I've talked about it before with this one. You just have to like tap your brush in there a couple times and then I like stipple it onto my cheeks. And you've got, like I have enough product right there for that side of my face usually. If I wanna go back in for more, I can. So if you use this wrong, it will look crazy. But I do really like that this one is really pigmented, like it has coverage. It helps to cover if I have spots or blemishes in that area where I apply the bronzer. It doesn't like wipe away my concealer and take away the coverage. It actually adds coverage, which is really nice. And it also just lasts really well on my face. But something I will say for my forehead now, I don't bronze the sides really the way I used to. I tend to go right in the center because I've just noticed that my forehead has like, this is gonna sound bad and I don't even mean it in a bad way, but like more of an egg shape than like a dome, 
that makes sense so I feel like this is the part I need to contour or bronze I guess because that is where the Sun would hit and it's also gonna bring my forehead down in that area like make it look smaller and this is just something that's gonna depend on your personal like face shape and then for blush I have multiple that I really like I feel like I've talked about all of them I have other makeup videos if you guys want to see my makeup favorites I just did two declutter videos not too long ago. I'll try to remember to link them, but if you just scroll down a little bit, you'll find them. I decluttered my entire makeup collection, so I talk about like all my products in that video. If you guys just want to see my thoughts on different things, but I will say when I'm doing the no makeup makeup look, which I know isn't today's look, I 100% of the time use the Merit Terracotta Blush. This is the old packaging of the Merit blushes, but this blush is just the perfect like terracotta shade. It's like a little bit bronzy, but just blushy enough to apply it all over the cheek area as a one and done product. So when I'm doing no makeup makeup looks and I just need to add that color to my face after concealer, I always use this blush. It's just my go-to, so I'm almost out of that one. But it does vary for my everyday blushes other than that. But one I've been liking lately is this Milk Makeup um, Lip and Cheek in the shade Work. I've talked about this before, I think. I just think this is such a pretty, just pink neutral kind of shade. Like it's not too pink, but it's also not too nude. And it's just the perfect everyday shade. I've also grown to really love this formula. It isn't overly dewy. Like the Merit ones are really dewy and I do love that super dewy look. But sometimes like if I'm wearing my hair down, little hairs will kind of like stick to my face more, which is slightly annoying even though I still wear that blush a lot because I just love it so much. But this one isn't quite white as dewy as that but it still gives you that really pretty natural like healthy glow to the skin without being as like moist I guess and here's the thing for my everyday makeup I really don't wear eyeshadow whether I'm doing the no makeup makeup look or I'm doing this I know I've showed eyeshadow in other makeup videos but for the most part I don't usually wear it I will sometimes do a little bit of bronzer in my crease though so I might do that like just to add some color. I don't know, maybe some people would consider that eyeshadow, but to me it's just like part of the bronzing process because when you put concealer on your eyes, they look blank and I like to have some color there. So I just kind of quickly blend it out everywhere. And then for highlight and for brows actually, I do have products I switch between. For highlight, my two favorites, like all I wear lately when I wear highlight are the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. I know this is such an old one, but I still love it and the Merit Cream Highlight. So it just depends what I'm going for. The Merit one is very much like that natural wet look to the skin and I just think it's absolutely stunning. I do love that wet look on the skin so I feel like the Essence Pure Nude Highlight is the closest I can get to that look with a powder highlight. Um, it's still not exact because it's not physically like dewy but it still gives me a similar effect and this one I'll kind of swirl my brush in there and apply it like this in a circular motion because I feel like it diffuses it really nicely and looks super natural. That will never get old. For brows, I'm actually almost out of this but I've talked about it before, probably my favorite brow product is the e.l.f. Wow Brow. I do go through this one pretty quickly though because it's just not a lot of product but I love how it adds these tiny little fibers to your brows and just makes them look naturally thicker. It's just such a one and done brow product because of that. But recently I have been reaching for this Lawless one. There's so much more product in here so it's taking me like a really long time to go through this but it still adds that really nice tint to the brows. The only thing with this one is it doesn't have that like fiber effect. So that's my thing. I really like how that one makes my brows look visibly thicker. So lately I have been using this one more even though I need to just go buy another e.l.f. one because it is super affordable and I do just really love that e.l.f. one. Like it's my go-to. This is a really good one too if you obviously want a lot more product. I haven't tried a ton of other tinted brow gels at the drugstore in recent years so I can't really speak for them and say if they're really good but I do feel like in the past it was always harder for me to find really good tinted brow gels at the drugstore until I came across the e.l.f. ones. So let me know if you guys have any other recommendations for really good tinted brow gels at the drugstore, like maybe for other people in the comments who don't want to run through a brow product so quickly like the e.l.f. one. I will keep repurchasing this though because I just love it so much. I'm gonna curl my lashes and then apply mascara. I'm just gonna use the Tower 28 one. I tried this out in a recent vlog and was really, really impressed with the results. 
and I've still been loving it, but I do feel like the first couple times I used it, it was almost better than it's been after that. I feel like mascaras either take a little bit to get good because they're like more wet at first, or they're like perfect when you open them and then they kind of dry out quicker. And it's on the cheaper side for high-end mascaras. It's only $20 as compared to some are in the upper 20s and the Lancome one I love is full priced at like $30, but I always get that one on sale. I do still think I like that one a little bit more than the Tower 28 one though, because that one gives me crazy volume. And I think I've just realized that I'm such a volume girl when it comes to my lashes. Like I want them to look long too, but I really love that thick voluminous look. Okay, I just curled my lashes, but I just realized that my audio has been off for like this entire video. So only the first couple of minutes of the video are going to be good audio and the rest of it's gonna be my camera audio. I'm so mad because I feel like that ruins the quality of the content. I'm gonna finish this though, and when I sit down to edit, I'll see how it is, but I am so sorry. That is not how my usual videos are. I don't know how I did that. I just like had to pause filming for a little bit and then I forgot to turn my audio back on. Anyways, so we're just gonna power through. I can't deny that this is a really good mascara though. Realistically, compared to other mascaras I've tried, besides the Lancome one. This really is like top tier. My eyelashes on this side are just so much thicker. Like no matter how much lash serum I apply to this side, I always have to apply way more mascara. So it takes me so much longer to get the mascara off of this eye. Let me know, do you guys have that where like one eye just has way better lashes? And then honestly, I have so many lip products I love. So because of that, for this, I'm just gonna put on some lip liner and some balm because I really love to do that for every day. And like I said, when I do wear lip products, I have so many that I love. The Merit Lip Oils, the Lawless Tinted Balm, the Fawn lip products, all the Fawn lip products. There's just so many. So I'm just gonna keep it simple. I'm just doing a nude lip liner. This is NYX's Nude Beige. Even though my lashes are thicker on this side of my face, my lips are smaller on this side. <laughs> So I do tend to overline just the slightest little bit on this side, just to even it out. I'm gonna use the Lawless Forget the Filler Overnight Lip Plumping Mask. I don't use this overnight. I use this before makeup or I'll just wear it with liner like this because it's just the perfect slightly plumping balm. All it really does is kind of make the lip lines look more filled in. I just love this Lawless Forget the Filler line because none of it's too intense, but they just make your lips look a little bit smoother. And it just has like a very faint, slight minty feeling on the lips, but it's not like tingly or anything. And it does look like a bomb. It's not super thick, but it's not super glossy. So it's just like the perfect everyday lip for me anyways. And this really is my go-to if I have a little bit more time this is what I'm doing for like an everyday look. I'm going to use the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Setting Mist from ColourPop because this is my favorite. I go through these so fast. I still love my Misha BB Cream when I want my skin to look like flawless. And I love the Fenty one as well, but this is just like my recent everyday glowy kind of base. And I just love it so much. I also love these puffy headbands. I have a black one too. I got them in a set on Amazon. I've talked about them multiple times recently, but I'll have them linked down below just in case you're interested. They're on my Amazon storefront, which is always linked in my description box, but I'll try to remember to put individual links. I know everybody has different opinions on minimal makeup. And like I said, if I'm doing a no makeup makeup look, it's a lot less than this but I feel like that's not really that interesting to see because it's just a couple products, which I actually have, if you guys go over to my shorts channel that is linked in the description box and in the pinned comment, the first video that I posted over there a couple weeks ago is like my super minimal product. So I can do a long form video of that too, but if you guys just wanna see what I do for that, it's over there so you guys can check it out if you want. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what else you wanna see from me. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you all next time.